Hey, Hadley's got some pretty good peppers growing here yeah, for the couple. Yep. You see how big these ones are getting down here? Hey, well. If we can make the Okay, no, I'm yellow, man. Yeah, it is. Are there any that? I don't know what that is. That's a good pepper right there. Real good pepper. Because we can make some. Yeah, we can make some. Oh, it's definitely like that. What do we got going on here? Nothing yet. Looking for, this is the... Cantaloupe. That's a cantaloupe. Gabby, Gracie, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? You guys having fun? Huh? Y'all having fun? Okay, hey, so we're going to have a little bit different video today. And I haven't really gone a whole lot over with Brandy what we, I was really wanting to do. Um, but I'm kind of putting a like a time-lapse video. Oh, I got something in my throat. <coughs> I'm putting like a, together a time-lapse video from the very beginning. From when we bought this piece of property until now. Um, so we're just going to answer a few questions, and I'm going to play some uh, some clips over over the top, and uh, just give you guys a rundown from where we came from until where we're in, to where we're going. And uh, if you guys have been wondering what uh, the big surprise was today, in this video it's going to be revealed. So I'm going to start off with I really know Brady can kind of jump in here whenever she wants. Um, a little backstory of of my life. I don't think I've ever really went into detail about this a uh, whole lot um so wh where i come from um my grand my all right so my grandma raised me and like seven other grandkids all at once we lived we lived what is that tick tick that's the first one ticks. i found uh so my grandma raised me and then like seven other grandkids and and uh for most for most of my life and we lived we lived in a, a trailer house in a trailer park down in uh, oklahoma and that's where we we were raised for on and off until I until I was 16, 17 years old. So I get out of, I get out of high school and I join the Marine Corps, and that's really where the whole mindset for of my mind changed of being more self reliant. And that's when the whole homesteading and all that comes into play. Uh, so I went to the Marine Corps, went overseas for um, for seven months, uh, did one tour over in Iraq, came back, end up meeting Brandy, and that's when our, the whole this whole thing fell fell into place. Um, we, we end up getting married. We buy a house together. You did not tell me the self-reliant plans. No, it's just, <laughs> it's just, I never, we really never talked about it a whole lot, uh, but it was always something in my mind, in my head. And if you guys hear background noise, we live by a racetrack and a highway right there, so you might hear that in the background throughout the video. It's no big deal. Um, but so we buy a house, we get married, we buy a house, and um, we start having children, which Hayden was the first one, and then Hadley, and then Hope. Uh, and we actually brought all three children back to the same house in town, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, we had the pole barn was almost done. And we thought it would be done before Hope was born, but I'm kind of glad it wasn't. So that way they could all live in that same house for a little bit. And what's, cra and what's crazy about it, my nephew, he ended up buying the house from a friend of ours that we sold to. So now he lives in it. And he was there about every weekend as his, as his childhood. So it's kind of stayed in the family. It's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, so we'll get back... Um, we first started with the whole homesteading journey was we got some backyard chickens and i think i actually have some footage of that that i'll show you guys our very first backyard do you chickens. have when they got the first egg i don't know if i got the very first egg if i do i'll try to it's find hilarious. it and show you guys yeah it's pretty it's pretty funny uh so if i can find all that i'll sh i'll definitely show it to you guys here's my backyard chickens we got this coop the other day Got these picked these chickens up yesterday from a friend. Oh, there's an egg. Look. Can I get it? Yeah, get it. The first egg. Wow. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Okay, get back, girls. Leave her alone. Okay, get back. Leave her alone. Mama, first egg. Let's see it. The first egg? Uh huh. We're going to eat it in the morning, huh? Uh huh. We'll, ha we'll have to wait for the other ones to have them. Daddy, I did not know. She's thirsty now. Yeah, we just just got these girls, and we're looking forward to it. Having them. When we move, we'll probably get some more. But for right now, these will do. We're all excited. Got the first egg. Thank you, Cooper, for this egg. I'm Put so newspaper proud. shavings in there. I've seen somewhere where they really like it because it's soft. 
complex is it? I need to, right. need to hang that water and feed her, but it's kind of small in there to be messing with it right now. All right, well, thanks for watching. So, once you get the backyard chickens, I was always wanting my own place to deer hunt. I always wanted a piece of property, and we really wanted out of the city. If I'm looking down, I'm periodically checking for ticks. Yeah, and you'll see why here in a little bit. But anyway, so um, we wanted to get out of the city. We wanted to, we wanted to live the country life. We wanted to raise our children up where they can uh, learn the skills of self-reliance, homesteading, farming, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that's where it came into play where we bought our first piece of land. We bought 10 acres that we have the houses on that we're living on now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few clips of our journey from buying the land to putting the road in to starting the pole barn house because that's what we, we did first. Um, we couldn't afford to build the house that we wanted yet. So we had some friends that built a pole barn house, lived in it, and they built theirs. And that's, that's the route we took. Well, and it's not like... I'm sure a lot of you have experienced it's not like HGTV where you list your house, you find, you start building another house, you list your house and it all sells and all that yeah. within a couple weeks. We just knew we wouldn't be able to pay for a house, two mortgages at the same time. And we knew it we might knew take we, a while. We can get into a pole barn house. And then we could use cheap. that later for like in-law suite type thing yeah. or visitors or whatever. Or just, or yeah, just whatever. So I'm going to show you um, the, the, the clips right now of us getting the land and starting the pole barn house. Hadley, what do you what do you like most about living out in the country? Um, where we go out um, places and look for um, animals and stuff. That's what you like. You like look the animals. Look for animals. Yeah. Check on the animals and stuff. Hayden, what do you like most about living out in the country? The animals. Oh, you guys. And we get to ride the go kart and stuff everywhere. And your little bike. Yeah. Hopey, what do you like best? The whole world. The whole world. Okay. No, like, well, you've she's so never you like she's never lived in town, so That's she doesn't true. know. Just for like That's just yeah. the normal. This is her normal thing. Brandy, what do you like most Our about farm? the homestead? Yeah. Um, like we didn't ever have bad neighbors, but I like just having space, privacy. Come out here, check water your garden in your pajamas, and there's no one <laughs> next yeah. door. Um, but no, I really do like the animals. I thought they would be a lot more work than they are. I really like the pigs. Okay, so you guys got to see the footage of us getting the land. I forgot to mention that we bought this place in 2012 or 2013. Brandy thinks 2012, I, I think it was 2013. I think back. Well, I think it was 2013, but I'm almost positive. It could have been 2000. Anyways, we bought it, we've had it for seven or eight years, and we actually had some goats out here first and some pigs, um, along with the, out, um, the backyard chickens in town. So we kind of got the whole homesteading thing going um, before we even moved out here. Because we had animals out here and i don't recommend that if you don't live on the property i really don't recommend it because you have to come out here and check on your animals daily or you, something's going to happen because we found out the hard way we end up losing a pig or whatnot um so that that pole barn house that we showed you guys um i think i hear coyotes there is we always get coyotes out here we hear dogs barking as coyotes um but the the pole barn house i paid a crew to come in and just put the shell up and then do the concrete work uh, me and some of my friends and my father-in-law, we did almost the rest of the whole build. Completely did the electric, uh, the electrician. Electric. Uh, we did the electric. Uh, we did the sheet rock or the OSB board we put in there. The painting, everything. 
and uh, stay, I stained the floors. Um, I did all that. So um, from the outside, I don't know if anyone's seen the process of it. From the outside, within three days, it looked like we could live in it. Yeah, it looked because it was like it was dried in. Yeah, and so dried people in. are like, "Do you live there?" And I'm like, "I oh, know." No, and, and we and we took our time. And, and we, I was working full time job, which I am now. We had three kids who were full time. She's working full time. And I would come out here almost daily when I got off work. Work sometime on the house till midnight, well, two o'clock in the morning. Some of the time it was like winter, because yeah, Oak winter. was like it was winter time. Because our first pictures or anything we have in there was like we put a Christmas tree. Yeah, and that's when it was like kind of done. Yeah, yeah. So it was like we moved in in Christmas. Yeah. So and she had, she took her first steps in there. Yeah. I actually had the video on that. But anyway, so we did almost I'm gonna say eighty percent of or. 75% of the work of the pole barn house and I learned I learned a lot from that I learned how to to build things and, and do all that um, so we lived here a couple of years and um, my nephew Dylan I'm gonna show some of that we did he uh, he got in a situation where he needed a place to stay and I said hey why don't you put a, a shed out here and we'll turn it into a shed to house so he ends up buying buying a, sh a shed and I'm gonna show some footage of that just in se just a second puts it next to the house and uh, we start building on that, and I'll show that to you now. Okay, so you can see we did quite whatever I showed you. We did quite a bit of work to that. He was actually living in it while we was we was working on it. Well, thing other things came up before we can completely finish it. I mean, it was pretty close. It was looking pretty good. Yeah, because there was had, the, the plumbing was hooked up, and... everything like that. And so some things came up in his life where he uh, he got a girlfriend, uh, Megan, and uh, they they were gonna live there maybe for a little bit but they ended up getting uh getting married and getting their own place and he sold the shed and house. had a baby quickly where it was like they, 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 they didn't want to fit in that yeah it was it wasn't something they was, want, they was wanting to do um so then we always had a, a, a five-year plan maybe three but i think it was five i'm pretty sure it was five and the it, was, it was probably three to me <laughs> <laughs> we want we wanted to live in the pole barn for five years pay off some debt so we can get further in the debt with the new house um, but we was able to we was able to save a little bit of money up, pay some stuff off. I think I got a tick crawling on me. Something's crawling on me. 
I had a little one. All right. So anyway, so we lived in the pole barn for five years. It doesn't seem like it, but it was. Yeah, it was yeah. five years. And it went by pretty fast. And the pole barn was actually bigger than the house we live in town. That one we live in town yeah. is 1,300. Just pole the, barn's 1,500. Just if you've seen videos of it, it was just more like temporary so that's the difference there wasn't as much storage it didn't look as big as the other houses because yeah. it wasn't set up as really there as wasn't a house. as stored we have like a for some reason we made it have like a ginormous bathroom and a huge and a huge room. laundry room it was, just, it was just one of them things um so we learned a lot from that um, but we lived in it for five years and we start then we we are able um with some advancements at work i got a raise she got a raise um things just start working out where we're able to afford to build the farmhouse that we're in now like, What's the hardest thing about raising animals? Would that be your thing? Is losing them? I think because, I don't know. It's like sometimes you ignore them and they do fine, and other times you have to constantly, I don't know, constantly doctoring them. And what do you think? What's the hardest thing about raising animals? <laughs> when you try to, um, when you try to take those moms away from them, they just keep drinking the milk. Oh, we, oh yeah. We, we need mean, the babies. That, you, that was sad. Well, yeah. they just aren't cooperating with the weaning. What's the hardest thing about raising animals? Um, killing like meat chickens. Killing the meat chickens? Yeah. <laughs> I can see that for sure. So I won't jump on here, but just I I would say too is doing the maintenance on them is the hardest thing I think. Well, that's more is, you doing that. Yeah, it's um, the feeding, watering's not that big of a deal, but like we did give the pig the shot today. That was um, that that's difficult. not easy. <laughs> and uh, trimming hooves and like and then. Processing your own animals, like Hallie said. It's also yeah. hard um, when they get their heads stuck inside the fence. Yeah, the goats get and their they, heads stuck. Um, one day I'm out, like, or, well, I think as we move with the girls homeschooling, so having more free time as far as on the farm and me working less, we'll probably get to see more of that aspect of you teaching us yeah. the maintenance of them. Because right now we just feed them. When also uh, hard. When she leaves a gate open, we have to put all the goats yeah. back inside. <laughs> when right. ten goats get out. That was to out. the best of us, don't it, Hadley? Yeah, and so I got some old clips of us actually. Um, uh, I actually self-contracted this house. I don't think I did any work on it, did I? I didn't let you. Yeah, we. Yeah, I got. You, I was, and, you and Dad did like the island. Yeah, we did a stuff. little and bit, looked, and it looks good. But it was we really just, good. we just knew we wanted to just. Pay I just wanted you. to self-contract it. I mean, it, we not did. We did it. save a lot of money not having. We didn't have a contractor, so we saved several thousands of dollars, but we wanted professionals to do. We wanted stuff. to, so I, I self-contracted out her dad overseeing the project, and I did like these beams. I don't know if you can see, we won't be able to see them on here. We did the beams, and Kevin did the beams. We, uh, her and her dad, me and her dad did the stuff in the kitchen. Um, so we did a little bit, but like she said, it was just one of those like things. As far as like structural or Yeah, like we, we, we contracted all out, and, and the way I figured up, we saved anywhere from twenty to $50,000, depending on where you live. Um, no. Just by doing that, you could save a lot of money. And uh, I'm very, very happy with everything. Um, there's a couple things that we would have changed. We won't go into detail on that. But we but weren't over, in control of Yeah, but overall, um, it's a great house. It's yeah. a great house. We love it. Um, it's big, and uh, the girls absolutely love it. So, going back to wanting to be more self reliant, uh, me and Brandy are always on the lookout. Well, I, I always am, and she's kind of just like, yeah. We. We always well, want to look out. I wanted to move to Colorado. Yes, well, and I think, too, I've heard um, some other, well, like Walker Farm Fam, they're our friends, and I've heard them talk about their forever home. And we have other friends who've built where they built, like, hey, if we're 70 and need a wheelchair, this is ready. And although we, like, loved our location and our house, I think, even though we didn't necessarily talk about it, neither one of us thought we would always live right here. Yeah, it wouldn't be like we our forever We didn't even necessarily, home. we thought maybe when the kids are older, but if something came up in the middle, we probably wouldn't even live there till they were Yeah, we want, we're, we love building the homestead that we have, the, the barn that we're working on now. But we've always carport. wanted wooded We've land. always wanted something different, and um, we, we settled with this, and there's nothing wrong with this place. It's absolutely awesome. It's, it's just at the time, that was what was available, mm -hmm. and it was a good location for their school and all that stuff. Everything so. worked out well we're always kind of i was always kind of eye out for land that was actually looking in colorado and but we have our church here our church family and her mom and dad and it's one of them things like we can't take the church with us and we can't take her mom and dad with us um and so for us not to be selfish um we we uh so we can always go there to visit or you can have a little vacation yeah something we can some always point. go i just love colorado and uh, i just i just love the mountains and the trees and stuff like that um 
Anyway, we can't so can't take the church with. Yeah, us. we can't take the church. We can't take her. Well, her mom and dad probably could come with us if they really wanted to. But anyways, uh, the church is a big factor with us. Um, not leaving our local church or anything like that. But so that came into play. We're always keeping an eye out for um, for uh, land that's in the right location for us that we can. Uh, she works in Tulsa, so it's about about forty minute drive from here, forty five minute drive. Like an hour. It takes you like, an hour. Yeah, because it's like downtown. Okay, it yeah. takes her about an hour from here. And uh, so we so didn't, didn't want to go too, too far. I'm not driving two hours to work. That'd be yeah, ridiculous. We wouldn't do that. Um, but anyways, things things have allowed us to where she can go part time. And uh, so even if I do drive further, it's, it's just two days a week. Yeah, it's just two days, days a week, week instead of it, what, what it was. Um, but now th this is where it, this comes into play. The whole being more self-reliant, not just with having the animals, because we, you guys might know, you should know, we raise meat chickens. Um, we raise goats. We you can hear the goats. We raise. <laughs> sheep and lamb before same thing lambs um and pigs we've had quail um what else have we have rabbits we've raised rabbits we've raised cow steers um for the meat so we raise pretty a, much any kind of i guess edible yeah any animals you would tons eat. and tons of animals um that way we could and we got a garden we have a raised bed garden and um so this is this kind of is, practice at everything and kind of we can fine-tune what we like doing the best I yeah would say. yeah and we start downsizing because of the things that come because we necessarily didn't like this or that and i start downsizing or do better a little bit. at one yep thing. so um so this is where it comes in play we we always i'm always on the look for a, a place that we can um that we could buy some wooded acres that was big enough for us to build um like a cabin in the woods or for us to hunt on yeah you know yeah you even i don't think necessarily we're gonna build it might even just be like hey if there was a few acres that were good where you and dad and the girls could hunt uh, yep you would even consider that so uh so uh with that being said i, I was on the on look and a, a property popped up and uh it popped up and had it not been listed very long i don't know how long it had been listed for um, i had never seen or heard of it i don't know how long it was listed for i don't think a whole long time but the guy that was selling it only had it for like a year or something i think he just hunted on it and it's 36 ish and a half acres yeah 36 and a half acres and uh, we found it and we purchased it so that's the big announcement we purchased uh, some land and we have some very big plans for this property and um, i'm excited are you excited yes. now we're not going to detail exactly on this video tomorrow's video we actually went out and filmed and talked about everything that we're going to do with the property and um it's, you'll just have to watch tomorrow's video and I'll show you like some clips at the end of this video a little bit of the property and stuff like that but this is pretty much just a whole time lapse of, of our I haven't got to see it see what the time -lapse. I haven't put it I gotta get I'm making it right now uh, but yeah this this video you guys are watching you guys are seeing it's kind of time lapse of our life um, especially over the last seven years or so with us being out here on the farm and having animals and it's taken us it's taken us seven years to get to the point where we're at now. Things just don't happen overnight for most people. Definitely doesn't doesn't from uh, for us. And uh, with a lot of hard work and dedication to certain things, we're able to be in this position. Um, but that's that's where I was getting to. Is that we're gonna we're gonna take our time and do what we're doing on this property. I don't want to go too much in detail exactly what we're doing. I want you to go watch tomorrow's videos. I can go into more detail about it. I will tell you we've been picking ticks off of us for. Last few I've hours. I've only had one. Hadley's had, I've had six. I've had three, and we even sprayed down. Um, but anyways, so that's the plan to do what we're going to do over there. Go watch tomorrow's video. Wait for tomorrow's video, and you'll see exactly. And then once, and and, and it's not a race. It's not a race to, to do what we want. And to do. I do get kind of antsy and want to like do it now. But, but she she realizes uh, that's basically all I got for you guys. This whole journey is leading up. I to... I know I'm thinking of other stuff, but I guess that's probably tomorrow. That to we talk talked about, about maybe. yeah. What. Oh no, I'm just saying my... That we already talked about? Or no, that we probably are talking about tomorrow. Oh. But yeah, we go we go over more, a lot more stuff in tomorrow's video, I think. Because I already filmed that because we, we're just doing this um, at the end of the day, I think. Yeah. If you got any questions for us, leave some comments down below. I'm going to close this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hope it maybe, maybe inspires some of you guys to get out and be more self-reliant. And we'll talk about just how much self-reliant we're going to be in tomorrow's video. The plans for that. And I think you guys will enjoy tomorrow. We go out to the property, show you a little bit of that, and uh, it's, a, it's a good time. Come on, muscles. Hold on. I'll do the other one. To whack me in the face. I'll do the other one. Oh, okay. Hey, leave, you can leave that one. Huh? You can leave that. Come on, Muscle. Come on, Muscle. Come on, 
I'll keep them. And if he wants them back, I'll give them to him. We'll walk up here. We got another one. We'll go ahead and close this video out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I think it's kind of like a time lapse of our life over the last seven years or so uh, since we've been on YouTube um, from pretty much the time I was in the Marine Corps until now. This is something we've been striving, or I've been striving, I don't know about Brandy so much, but she kind of just goes with the flow. I've been striving to get to this point right here where we have our own piece of property that we can hunt on and do other things. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Um, because I'm, we're going to explain exactly what we're going to do with this property. But that's the big surprise I've been talking about for the last two or three weeks is um, buying this piece of land. It's 36, 36 and a half acres. And uh, we're super excited to tell you guys exactly what we're going to do with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, the time lapse of our life and our journey of homesteading and now this new adventure. So if you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We love you guys. And we'll catch you on tomorrow's video. And we'll explain to you everything that's going on with this property and everything else. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. These are the trees you like. Yes, pine trees are my absolute Dash favorite. would rather live in Colorado, so this is close. Absolutely. Good job, Randy. All right. It's ours. <laughs>